Hello, it's Tim Spector here of the Zoe Symptom Study app, giving you our vaccine report for the week. And the good news is that the rollout across the UK is going well, uh, over 5% and heading towards 10% of the population have now had at least one vaccination, and that's 70% of the vulnerable over 80s and a good proportion of healthcare workers. Over 140,000 of you app users have given us the vaccine details and these numbers are going up steadily, so many thanks for that. The first results I wanted to give you back about uh, side effects. Many people are concerned about these. Firstly, the, the local ones, what goes on in your arm. Uh, we are seeing uh, some people having a painful arm, um, but not everybody, and that quickly goes away. All the other uh, swellings, etc., are extremely rare. More important are the uh, what we call systemic side effects, which um, are after the uh, injection, things like uh, headache and fatigue are really commonly reported. Um, but not as common as I thought they would be. So these uh, general systemic effects only uh, affect about one in six people and headache and fatigue are the most common. Then you've got other rarer ones and things like fever, which people were worried about, are actually quite unusual, only affect about 2% of people. With uh, the others also being very rare and uh, luckily only short-lived. There is a slight difference between people, so we're seeing more of these general side effects, slightly higher in females than males. And we're going to be looking at whether people have had COVID before have slightly higher rates. But remember, majority of people are not getting anything in the way of side effects, which is uh, really reassuring. It's possible that people have the second dose um, We've had uh, a look at that and there do seem to be a slight increase in numbers of these uh, systemic side effects. But again, it's still in the minority of people, three quarters of people have no problems uh, with either the first or the second dose. We've been looking at infection rates after vaccination because this is something that really isn't talked about enough. Everyone's been talking about the potential safety effects of the vaccine and not about the individual and about COVID risk. And the original studies uh, showed that people were not covered at all for the first two weeks, and I don't think that message has got out there. Our data confirm this and show that um, rates of new infection only start to drop after uh, two weeks. And we are encouragingly seeing uh, reductions in new infections by about 50 percent which is excellent news because obviously this is real life rather than just uh, trials. The other thing to be really sure of is that in that time after the vaccination you don't think you've got some special uh, superpowers that are, are going to prevent infection and you probably have to be extra careful because You've got this confidence now, you've had a vaccine, but really it doesn't work for, for weeks. And so you should regard yourself as still extremely, extremely vulnerable and susceptible, particularly at the moment when there's a lot of COVID around, there's over half a million cases uh, and you're quite likely to bump into someone. So don't go and see relatives, don't um, hug people as if you're, you're, you're saved. And we're gonna be passing that message around through the app as well. Um, we do need more people to log on. We need more information so we understand about any new strains that come in to see if everyone's getting the same protection. So far it's looking good, but uh, this whole thing, situation is changing. Also need to look at people who've had long COVID, getting vaccinations, people who've had previous infections. We need to understand what the best timing for this dose is. Currently it's looking at 12 weeks between doses, but again, with data, uh, we may be able to change that. So if you know someone who's been offered a vaccine, then do uh, tell them to download our app 
And meanwhile, thank you for your support. Stay safe. Keep logging.